Maiden Overton Tun put Somerset on the brink of victory in Birmingham. Somerset once again had the better day at Edgebaston on day two. They backed up their performance with the ball by eclipsing the home side's total with the bat. Stephen Davis's half century helped them reach the close of play at 214 for six, giving the central group pace setters a lead of 93 runs. But the resumption of play saw Somerset stumble, Lewis Gregory removed by Bresden for 14. Roloff van der Merwe extended the Somerset lead past 100, but could go no further. He prodded at one outside off and could only edge Hannon Dalby through to Burgess for four. The Bears' joy was short-lived though. Davis and Jamie Overton struck up a valuable partnership, steering Somerset to 250. Overton took miles on, the 26-year-old blasted for six as the visitors ploughed past 300. Edgebaston has been a happy hunting ground for Stephen Davis. He followed up his 2019 century with another this time out. And on his coattails came Jamie Overton, a second consecutive 50 scored at a rate of a runner ball. The pair filled their boots. Everything Overton connected with seemed to rocket over the boundary, and any hope the Bears generated from their early wickets evaporated. By the time they reached lunch, the pair had taken the total to 353 and the lead to 232, 80 of which had come from the bat of number 10, Jamie Overton. The onslaught continued after lunch, Overton in the ascendancy and rapidly racing towards 100. His maiden first-class century came soon after lunch, just 84 balls needed for the number 10 to reach the landmark. He quickly breezed past Richard Johnson's previous Somerset record for a number 10, and with fewer than 100 overs bowled, Somerset passed 400 and sealed full batting points for their efforts. Overton's incredible innings would eventually be brought to a close. A drive down the ground for four was a final flourish. He'd depart two balls later, nicking Bresnan through to Burgess as he looked for the offside boundary once again. Davy replied by hitting Bresnan through mid-wicket for four, before Tom Abel waved his side in, Somerset declaring at 413 for nine, their lead over Warwickshire a huge 292 runs. An awful day for the Bears continued to get worse. They were a wicket down, just ten balls into their innings. Yates left the ball, Davy found the top of his off stump. Overton's day just got better. He added to his 120 with the bat with an early wicket. Sam Hayne flashed at a wide one, only to feather it through to Hildreth in the slips. Even the experienced Ian Bell couldn't resist the Somerset pressure. He went shortly before tea, the 50 up, but Warwickshire three down. The carnage continued after the break. Bresden and Burgess had been relied upon heavily by the Bears recently, but fell within a ball of each other. Burgess went first, Bresden followed the very next ball, out for a duck. Rhodes and Thompson stopped the rot for a time, the Bears limped towards 100. They reached the landmark, but Rhodes wouldn't survive much longer. He chipped a catch back to Gregory to depart for 41. The rain began to fall as Rhodes departed, and that would signal the end of the day's play. Warwickshire 104 for 6, and 4 wickets away from a defeat that would all but end their hopes in the tournament. On form, Somerset could wrap this up early on day four. It's the first time they've reached the final day of play so far in the campaign, with each of their wins coming within three days.